G'day legend, this is an electromagnetic flow sensor and I have worked on a ton of these over the years. This one for instance came directly out of a sewer treatment plant and it was chock-a-block full of well, poo fat. But one thing I haven't done is seen inside, I mean like not inside, but cut it open to see exactly how it works. So in this video, I'm gonna do exactly that. All right, so I've got my nine inch grinder that I'm gonna to use to cut it up. Um, some safety stuff as well, glasses, but I'm just trying to figure out how I get this to secure to the table. I think I'm gonna use a ratchet strap to go around the table in and out and then cut across diagonally. All right, check this out. I've tightened that right up. It's, uh, it's actually pretty steady. <laughs> All right, really quick one before I cut this thing open, check out inside the terminals here on the top. This is a potting compound we stick in the top to stop any moisture getting in the terminals because we bury these things in the ground. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think that's gonna save these terminals from cutting it right open. So let's do it. I just realized as I started cutting through that that I should probably be wearing a mask. Safety first. Do this. Check this out. Oh man, that's hot. Ow. <laughs> uh, let's grab it from the plastic. So. As you can see, that is the silicon, how deep it goes into that um, that terminal box there. Uh, and then goes down that that shaft <laughs> straight into the flow meter. So I'm gonna continue to keep cutting it up. Man, this is so messy. <laughs> So I'm downgrading or upgrading. I've got a five inch here with a slitting blade because the uh, nine inch diamond tip is flogged out. So uh, I'm gonna ring the flow meter with this to see if I can get just that crack through the crust and then go through with the big nine inch. Let's do it. Okay, that, uh, that was a lot harder than I was expecting, but I'm just about to crack it open, so I'm gonna move this a bit closer so you can see. Okay. I don't know if you can see how much dust and stuff is around here. Obviously, that's sort of the filling that goes inside the flow meter. Here we go, I've cut sort of a line diagonally and then I had to cut it at the bottom here. Honestly, this is not how I was expecting it to go, <laughs> but we're here now because this has been an really tough to break open. All right. Oh, wow. Let's bring that closer. Tidy this up. Okay, so this is the inside of an electromagnetic flow meter, and this is the first time I'm seeing it as well. Now, theoretically, I've seen it in some videos, and I'll explain exactly how it works. So, you might be able to see on the side here, there are two copper bars, and they are actually an electromagnetic coil. So, the transmitter that gets connected into the head, which comes from a cable here, comes down and powers that coil. Now I'm assuming here that it is one on top, sort of in a like square or oblong shape on the top and one on the bottom. That induces a magnetic field around inside the flow meter. Now when water flows, th get out of it. So when you get flow coming through the flow sensor, you actually get negatively and positively charged particles separating because of that magnetic field. Then a voltage is induced into these electrodes which sit here, I don't know if you can see that. Those electrodes, and they are actually measured in millivolts. Now this is a known quantity that can then be converted into a flow, like velocity, or even a volumetric flow. 
So that's sort of how the basics of electromagnetic flow meter works. Now, oversimplifying this does not give it credit. The amount of engineering that goes into these things is crazy. They're really, really accurate. All right, that's it for this breakdown. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna like this one as well.